Well, good evening and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, don't forget to check out some of my other content. Well, tonight I'm back over in Patong and we're going to be taking a look at the newly refurbed John Ceylon Shopping Centre. Now, some of you may remember about six months, maybe a little bit longer than that, I did a video on this shopping complex and it was looking a little bit sorry for itself. Hopefully tonight it is going to be a lot better because I hear the refurbishment work is almost complete. Not quite, as you can see behind me, there's still a little bit of work going on, but we are actually going in what I call the back entrance. So we're on the soy that runs past Patong Hospital, not on Ratchetit soy, which is the main entrance into this shopping mall. But for now, let's go and take a look at the shopping mall. Okay, so as you can see, they are still finishing it off but from pictures that I've seen on social media in the last week or so, it is looking a lot, lot better than the last time I was over here, I'm glad to say, because it was not looking the greatest and it was a little bit disappointing after obviously the COVID period that they only started work after COVID, not during COVID. And the work has taken hmm, roughly about 12 months I'm guessing and they're just finishing off hopefully this is going to be all finished by late October November Taco Bell doesn't look like it's fully open yet but I can see there are a lot open and as I say I've seen on the media on the local media that uh, there are now a lot more places open here and it's looking a lot lot better so we're going to find out Body cap. Walking in this entrance, all the restaurants along here used to be here, so they haven't relocated anything as far as I can see up to yet. So this part is where you're gonna find a lot of the eateries. So if you're looking for food and drink, then this is the area that you need to be making your way to. See so a hotel there. That doesn't look like it's open at the minute wine connection that's always been over here that's good to see that's open nice restaurant actually the wine connection we have eaten in the wine connection the one that was here before i would say it's the same restaurant of course um, very good food in there we have had some very good meals in the wine connection they have a chain of restaurants so there's not just the one here in patong but there's a few across the island a place called spoon Good evening, Swaddy Cap. Some friendly staff there. I don't know what they do, but that one's open. It's a reasonable choice along here. There's not as many open yet as there used to be, but I'm guessing in the next few months they will start to reopen up. So if you're coming over here in November, December onwards, hopefully you're going to get the full use of this shopping complex. And now we're coming into the main sort of square where the pirate boat used to be and where they have the displays, the light displays and sound displays, as you can see over there in the back. Okay, well, it's definitely looking a lot better than it was the last time I was here. If you want to go back and reference that video, I did walk across this area and to be honest, it was like a building site. So it's nice to see that it's uh, looking more back to normal.
Okay, so we've now come into one of the three sections that we've got here at John Ceylon. It looks like they've broken it down into three sections. I'm going to have a quick look around, see what shops are on offer. Normally there's a good choice. You have Robinsons, of course, in there. That's more like a department store. So a little bit like the uh, central department store across the road. And they sell cosmetics and jewellery, watches in there, all sorts, clothing, etc. And then you have, of course, all your normal branded name shops that you would find on the high street. So if you're looking for certain goods like Adidas trainers or Fila trainers, you're going to be able to find those products in here. There are going to be some designer shops in here as well. Hopefully they've got some decent sales on at the minute. I believe the cinema is still here as well. So again, if you want to grab a movie, maybe it's raining one of the days when you're over here, you want something to do indoors, then obviously the cinema might be a good option. There used to be a children's area in here as well. well. I'm guessing that might be upstairs. I can see something up there. So if you've got young ones, and like I say, if it's raining outside, maybe come into one of the malls. You're going to find something that's going to keep them occupied. We'll have a look at that in a minute. Now we're coming down towards where the cinema is housed. Or where it used to be housed, which is just upstairs. We'll go that way, not. And yeah, the cinema is just over there. It is an option. Obviously, I realise that when you're on holiday, you don't necessarily come on holiday to go to the cinema. But a lot of people at the moment are asking me things to do when it's raining. Well, that is one of the things that you can do, of course, is indoors. Obviously there are other things, you could do a spa day, etc. It really depends on the individual. I'm just trying to throw a few ideas out there. We've got the new powerhouse, obviously electrical goods. If you want to go in there to find drones and GoPros and those type of items, then powerhouse is normally a good bet. Now I'm not sure whether they've got like a laser quest here as well. Um, there used to be different things up in this area. I can see over there there's a maze as well. And that's why I say maybe this would be a good option if it's raining outside and you've got a family, of course, young children. You might be able to come in here and pass a few hours away while the rain's about until it passes over. And then of course back on the beach or doing whatever you want to do. It's just an option for you. They've got quite a few screens here, as you can see. Very modern, very flash. I don't know about prices. So I've just asked the girl for some prices on the cinema. Just to give you an idea, prices start from 200 baht, which is the cheapest seats, all the way up to 500 baht, which are the sofa seats. So that gives you an idea, obviously, if you want to budget and that with a family, etc and uh, you want to get out the rain if you're coming at that time of year. So that's uh, a few options for you. Now we're going to have a walk <coughs> around here because this is Swadika, this is the technology area, as I call it, the entertainment and technology area. And what I mean by that is they've got phone accessories here. They used to have drone shops here as well, but it doesn't look like the shops to the left-hand side are open yet. But this is where you would find all your phone accessories, um, GoPros, uh, DJI products and that type of thing, or used to be able to find them because I can see that they haven't got the indoor areas open at the moment in the back there, the actual shops. Um, and as I mentioned, they have got a children's area 
or an entertainment area. So depending on what you like and what your kids like and how old they are. You've obviously got video games and entertainment like that. The air, football tables and motorbikes things. I think there's an area for the younger ones just up here. So we've got a fun park there, different things. And another section there, I'm guessing, as you go along further along, it's getting younger and younger for the younger children. So it gives you a few options if you're stuck for things to do when it's raining. So as you can already see, there is plenty of choice when it comes to high street brand named shops. You do have access to a supermarket here as well, if that is something that you need during your stay in Patong. They've got the Big C supermarket also housed in the John Ceylon complex. I'm guessing this is a lot of the smaller stalls where you can come down and they've got various different foods from all around the world I'm guessing and then you'll probably find some Korean and Japanese food down here as well as Thai and European food in individual restaurants so lots and lots of small restaurant choices so if you're hungry you might want to nip down here into the food bazaar area Okay, well there you have John Ceylon Shopping Centre. To be honest, the layout hasn't changed that much from what it was originally. However, it does look a lot, lot better than my last video. We're now coming outside to the main entrance of John Ceylon. So this is now on Ratchetit Soy, or Ratchetit Soy, I should say, is behind the camera at the moment and I'm just walking towards it. So I hope that's given you a good look at the new shopping centre. Not quite finished, but almost finished. So it's gonna be in the next couple of months, they're just finishing off things. There's gonna be a few more stalls opening up and shops inside. So plenty of brand names in there if you're looking for that type of thing. Plenty of restaurants that I've saw in the garden section. So a good choice overall. And I hope you've enjoyed this walk around the John Ceylon shopping centre here in Patong and I guess that just leaves me to say don't forget if you've enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up please do consider subscribing to the channel and until next time I'll catch you on the next one